some of the guys who played last night are not playing this afternoon. And here's a tip. Tip one by Toka University. The Seagulls are in black. And player Hiroki Matsuzaki. We'll see what they do. Matsuzaki is a dead shot from long range. Here he's 18-footer from top of the key over Gio Chu. And that's his move. Pull up Jay off the ball screen. Hiroki Matsuzaki standing only about six foot four. But you know, don't let his thighs fool you. He is a very good shooter. Sp speaking about very good offense, 15 and a half points per game for. Ateneo, as we see Fortsky Padrigao, good pass inside, Gio Chu with a big slam, a gem off the Great umbrella defense, na payungan si Balu nun. And here comes Nishida, there you go, that is Koyo Nishida, first two points. And uh, at least, but definitely in terms of size, Ateneo will have the edge here against Toha University. Good offensive rebound right there by David Defonso. Ateneo has been the top rebounding Eagles, but a bad pass by Nishida. Big steal here coming from BJ Andrade. Fortsky from three. I think he grazed the backboard. He played in the 2021 FIBA Under-19 Basketball World Cup, actually. So he's one guy to watch as we see that uh, three. And here's number seven, Cantameno. Off to Kotetsu Kurokawa. Blowing by the defense of Kai Balungay. Napakadali naman nun. He is short picked up by Josh Lazaro. Kitev is inside. Lazaro, dunker spot. Inside to the cutting. Obasa. And Obasa just barreling down the... Had a very good game. Here's a good cut by Obasa. Wide open lane right there. and Definitely pretty well. In the absence of Ange Kwame, who is, of course, still nursing his injury. Kwame is actually with the team here in Tokyo, but he has not played a single game and will not ping. Ateneo shooting only 57.5% from the free throw line in this tournament. So that's been uh, one big area for improvement. But speaking of the shooting. graduate school already, and he has two seasons of eligibility for Ateneo coming out of Salisbury University in Maryland. As we see, a sweet... Turn around, fade away. Padrigao off the repossession by Ateneo. Two-man game, but he rejects it and goes for the turnaround fadeaway instead. Portsky Padrigao, that's his second shot. Lazo and Padrigao, former teammates for the Blue Eagles Juniors team. As was Gio Chu. Good backdoor pass. Good pocket pass from Kitevis and Josh Lazaro. 85th season of the UAAP. As we see a steal here by Toka University. Toka in transition. Nishida missing the wide open layup. But here comes Kanechika on the puts. Game will be declared the first ever WUBS champion. World University Basketball Series. Brought to you by Sun Clarella and Smart Sports. As we see the start. Pocket pass to Gio Chu. One fake. Two fakes. Up and under. Right hand shot. No good. But he gets his own miss. Gio Chu. Napakasipag ni Chu. And he is rewarded. 26 23. Here's a good steal from Kitevis. Kitevis sidestep, pass it to Garcia. Good the sequence right there by Sean Kitevis and Paul. Top zone now in the half court being shown by the Blue Eagles. Here comes Kurokawa. Good pass right there and a good three. That was. Ildefonso now to Padrigao. Here's Balung. I think this is the same starting five that Coach Tab had. Start the game. We'll start the second half. And a good pass right there. Two-man game. Patayang Butike from Toka University. Once again, that was Koya Nishida with that corner pull-up three as David Defonso waltzing in for two points. And a good start to Japan. This is the live and exclusive coverage of the Sun Corella WUBS. Brought to you only by Smart Sports. Coming to you live from the Smart Sports Facebook page and YouTube. In collegiate basketball in Japan, they've won... The Collegiate Championship in Japan six times already. Last time was in 2020. Big three right there. And Trio up now by seven points. Oh, nobody boxing out. Koyo Nishida right there. Just waltzing in, traipsing in for the putback too. Here comes the Seagulls. Good uh, handoffs at the perimeter right there. Motoda from the wing. And it's good. That is going to be number four. Oh, sorry, that's not Motoda. That's Taichi line. Ateneo's lead does not change. Four points. A uh, good move right there. That was Cantamaeno with a great move. 
great slip screening fundamentals if he wants to avoid being called for those illegal screens right there. Good pass inside. Obasa just stepping away from my Obasa bubbles it again. And yun sinasabi natin kanina pa. Medyo butterfingers tung si Joseph Obasa. Pocket pass. Lazaro kicks it out. Kuhn with a fake. Blowing by the defense. Pull up Jay. Finally, Chris Kuhn. Giving Ateneo a two-point lead. 41-39. With a minute and change to go in the third. Oh, nice move on the pull up by Taichi Kodama. Two dribbles to the left. Creating half by Kodama. Watch the shot clock. Only five seconds to go. Lazaro pulls up from 18 feet. Josh Lazaro. And as his former Cobra, and it's paying dividends for him. Six points now for Josh Lazaro. Maeno, oh, bothered on that shot. It's one thing to drive past Obasa, but another thing to shoot over his outstretched arms. And uh, here we see Kanta Maeno just not able to do good passing, but intercepted right there by Gio Chu. Here comes Paul Garcia on the break. Kai Balungay asking for it. Oh, nice move! Flick up and under to Kai Balungay, but instead opted for the up and under shot. I don't mind at all. Four point lead. Good no look pass from Gab Gomez right there. And two quick uh, two quick buckets right now for Ateneo to start the fourth quarter. Definitely just what they need. Slick looking up at another move as we see this nice poke from Garcia. Steal from Gomez. Look at this look away pass. Ganda naman pasa from Gomez to Ilde. Here's that rub screen from Gio Chu. Good tap right there by Shimatani. Easiest two points for, Ky for Koyo Nishida in this game. So Koyo Nishida to grab Gomez. Gomez, two-man game. Kanichika showing. Here comes Gio Chu. Power dribble. Gets it back. Goes up strong. <laughs> Medyo may halong boy. Up instead off the class. No good. Here comes David Defonso with the offensive rebound. Back outside. Garcia wide open all day from three. Trickles in for Paul Garcia. That's his first three of this game entering this match garcia was actually averaging three three pointers per game but that is triple number one for the filipino american as ateneo now has a nine point lead the biggest of the game good backdoor play for this inside three-man game here's balungay cross court pass ildefonso from three is good dave ildefonso his sort of gets the inbounds Looking for his point guard. Hands it off to Padriga. Back to Lazaro. Ildefonso. Good passing. Good shot. For a greater shot. Pass. Ateneo Blue Eagles. Here's that good passing by Ateneo. Good shot. For a better shot. Lazaro to Ildefonso. Lazaro. Back to Padriga. Inside to Lazaro. Good passing so far by Ateneo. But where is it going to be? The shot going to come from? It's going to come from Fortsky Padriga. Fortsky with his screen from Josh Lazaro. Two-man game. Going strong. High off the glass. No good. But Josh Lazaro with a putback for Ateneo. Eight points now. As Ateneo reconstructs their 15-point lead. 65-50 to 50, as we see a sweet-looking three from no Playing in all three games. He's got three points to his name. Talking about Sean Kitevis. It's a nine-point lead for Ateneo. And Ateneo will win... This game against Tokai University, the final score is going to be 68 to 59. Atene with a big win, scoring 25 points in that fourth quarter. 25 points, rather, in that fourth quarter to win by 9 points, 68 59. And the Ateneo Demonina Blue Eagles are your WUBS first ever inaugural. WUBS World University Basketball Series Champions. Ateneo sweeping the competition, beating the UPH Eagles on day one, beating the NCCU Griffins on day two, and bringing home the bacon with this big nine point win over the home team, the Tokai University Seagulls on day three. Tokai University will uh, have to be content bringing home. Uh, second place. They did have a good showing here in front of their own home crowd, but the Athenians coming out on top. Certainly fewer jitters this time around compared to last night when Athenians had to 
rally from an 11 point deficit this time around Ateneo leading for most of the game especially in the second and third quarters and staving off that last ditch rally by Tokai University as Ateneo here doing really really well the Ateneans bringing home uh, a rare championship trophy in this calendar year to the Philippines uh, obviously so many challenges for uh, Philippine basketball so far but Ateneo de Manila really flying the flag high and proud here in uh, Shibuya Tokyo Japan carrying the colors of uh, the blue and white and the country and bringing home uh, their first championship since winning in season 83 and this will serve them in good stead as they continue their preparations for season 85 the UAAP as we see Gio Chu right here handing out the souvenirs that they're going to give to their counterparts from Tokai University David Defonso leading all scorers here with 12 points followed by I think Gio Chu with 8 points Paul Garcia also with 8 points Joseph Obasa with 6 Portsky Patigao also with 8 points Josh Lazaro as well with 8 points we'll have to wait for the official final box scores but based on my own manual count it's uh, yeah it's David Defonso leading all scorers with 12 followed by uh 